Hi, and welcome to my first video of a how-to recipe um, for a dessert I'm gonna make. So I usually just take photos and post them, but I thought that I wanted to attempt videos um, and do more of them. So this is gonna be a bit rocky, just as a warning. Um, but if you follow me at all, you know how much I like to experiment with food. And so this recipe I saw a while back as a dessert and I don't remember exactly what was in it. So I'm kind of winging it off of what I remember. And we'll see together if it is a win or not. <laughs> okay, so earlier I made two packets of um, sugar-free strawberry jello. So they actually set. So they're they're ready to go um, a little cheat I did with that the recipe calls for to boil a cup of water and then add a cup of cold water after it's dissolved I use my Keurig and just put eight ounces of hot water in it and it worked great to dissolve and then added a cup of cold water so just a little tip you don't have to bother boiling any water so we'll do the first one and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut in basically to make kind of like little cubes or just uh, whatever it turns out to be, <laughs> honestly. It is just to mix up a bit. That should work just fine. Okay, what I also did, as I recall from the recipe, is it called for Cool Whip. Well, I don't have any, and I didn't want to use any, so I did happen to have a packet of this Dream Whip uh, in my cabinet that I went ahead and tried. Um, it does say to whip it on high with mixer. Well, some cheats work, some don't. I threw mine in the blender. It didn't really whip up um, that great, but I imagine it's gonna taste just fine. So I went ahead and made one packet out of the Dream Whip and I actually mixed it with almond milk instead of um, regular milk, just because that's typically what I drink, which could also explain this, uh, but I don't know. And I just divided it. One packet is actually 16 servings, and I divided it in two, so we're actually gonna each have, my husband and I, uh, we're each gonna have eight servings. And they're only, it's as packaged, it's only 10 calories per serving, so. I think that is perfectly fine. We'll go ahead and just dump it in here with the jello. Sorry about that. All right, we'll just mix it. And then the other ingredient, which I already weighed out, I actually have two servings of full fat cottage cheese. Uh, this is just the one I have on hand from Aldi. Uh, and it should work just fine. And that is it, as far as I could remember. I'm sure you could add a little Splenda or whatever, but I feel like it's probably plenty sweet enough with the Jello and the Cool Whip, the Cream Whip. Grab a spoon and we'll do a taste test. It's actually quite good. So I think it's a win. But um, I'm gonna try and do some more of these videos um, periodically. I have another dessert that I like to make and I will put effort into making sure I get some done.
Thanks. Thanks for joining me. Have a good evening.